Yo, what's good with y'all? In today's video, I got part nine of how to make grow a garden. So I, uh, I, uh, bleh, damn, I can't talk. Um, added a lot of things that people wanted and stuff. It's very easy and simple things to add. So one, offline growth. So plants will now grow, um, offline and stuff like that. So you know, forever long the plate was gone for. Um, I also added admin commands and stuff. Something um other people have been asking me for. So where you can give seeds and crops shekels if you don't know the difference. So the seed is just like. The player can plant it the crop is where you give them just like the plant itself so that they just have an inventory then um you can give uh players admins can give players a um, amount of shekels if they want that and shekel amount is also now displayed in the top uh, sorry bottom left corner um since someone asked me for that and i actually forgot to uh include that in the game but yes let's go ahead let me just make sure we're good okay now let's go ahead and get straight into it you guys already know keep showing the series love and support and i'll continue um adding more and more videos onto the series and stuff we're almost at part 10 so let's just keep it going okay so first things first open up starter gui then open up core gui you're going to want to insert a text label and then you're going to want to rename this text label to shekels text label so shekels text label um you can do bold text rich text scale the text you don't need to have any text by default um we could leave the text color uh you could just leave text color as black text stroke color can be set to white text stroke transparency can be set to zero and then we can just drag this down to like the bottom left um the colors fonts and where it is is completely up to you it's just all that matters and the size of the text all that matters is, is the name that's really just it so then i'm gonna set background transparency to one and then we're done with the ui changes now everything else after this is just scripting related okay so let's go ahead and let's open up the core local script and we're going to set up the code uh literally for that right now so we're going to go right here so after the first um nested for loop then we're going to um, press enter a few times to create some space we're going to first say core gy dot shekels text label dot text is equal to quotation marks the money symbol dot 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 player dot leader stats the leader stats folder then dot shekels dot value if you called it something else then obviously replace this with cash money whatever you put whatever you would call it right then after that we're going to set up the function because keep in mind all of this line all this line does it just sets the text labels text to whatever however much the player um how much money the player has when the player joins the game we need to make it so that it also updates whenever you know they buy something sell something whatever the case may be so we'll say player dot leader stats dot shekels dot changed colon connect in parentheses put function close parentheses press enter then um we need to format it because we need to put the commas after every three digits every three digits you know um to you know be able to tell like thousands ten thousands hundreds thousands um millions whatever billions whatever so we're gonna so we're going to in the print oh sorry in the parentheses we need to put amount so this is the the new updated amount um we're then gonna format it right so we're gonna so we're gonna create a variable called formatted and we're gonna say it's equal to two string we're gonna convert the number to a string then after that we're going to um format it so formatted it will be then be equal to formatted colon you're gonna put say reverse we're gonna reverse the string that go on the outside um colon g sub right and then pay close attention here in quotation marks you're going to put percent symbol d percent symbol d percent symbol d right then after that comma and then um again quotation mark percent symbol one comma right um and then you're gonna put and then you're gonna go um all the way and then just call in reverse right that simple then you use an if statement so go after that you'll just say if formatted colon sub right so sub then you just say one comma one then is equal to quotation marks comma enter then you'll just say formatted is equal to formatted colon sub and then you just put two right so that so this will ensure that everything is formatted properly then after that you just lastly set the text so code gui dot shekels text label dot text is equal to formatted so make sure everything matches exactly as i uh, put it and so oh my bad i forgot the money symbol so quotation mark money symbol close quotation marks and then just two dots and then boom okay now we can move on to the server script so let's open up the server script and let's get to working on the admin commands Oh, sorry first thing first is offline go then admin commands okay so we need to modify some stuff in the load player data so obviously we now need to um load the last time the player was online that's how we're going to keep track of whether or not um or like the last time they were online and then we'll use that to subtract the current time which is the time they're now online currently online and then that's how we'll determine like how much growth the plant should have had in that uh period of time so we'll say player 
dot so you, after the if that state it will say if player dot last time online we're going to create this value last time online the value is equal to stats data regular bracket two so it's going to be this so it's going to be the second value we save in the stats data right then we're going to scroll down you're going to scroll down here to your um your seed bed data right so after we finish setting up the growth multiplier um value and stuff like that you're then going to go right here and then we're going to calculate offline growth before we get to the whole if saved growth is this and that so first things first we're going to create a variable called time elapsed so this is pretty much how much time has uh passed and stuff since the player was last online so we're just going to say os dot time this is how we get the current time right now os time minus player dot last time online dot value right then you're going to calculate offline growth so you're going to say offline growth is equal to seeds folder regular bracket you're going to save the seed name go on the outside and then you're going to say dot growth rate dot value then multiply that times time elapsed so how much time has passed then also multiply that times growth multiplier dot value so whatever the growth multiplier is for that plant right then that's how we calculate offline growth then lastly we just need to um round it so offline growth is equal to math dot floor offline growth and then just like that we, we've finished calculating offline growth now we're just going to add it so save to growth percentage and then you're just going to say plus equal offline growth right and then we just need to um check because obviously we could go past 100 but we don't want it to go past 100 so we're going to say if so we're going to say if saved growth percentage is greater than 100 press enter then you're just set saved growth percentage is equal to 100 you just do that right then after that you'll update growth percentage you'll say growth percentage dot value is equal to saved growth percentage and then boom we are done with the loading data um so that's all we're going to do there so then after that um right before the player added function we're going to create a table so just put a space there we're going to create a table so it's going to be called admin users which is equal to special brackets how we create tables so here is where you're going to put all of your admin users you know the owner whatever the case you're going to put all of your usernames which they have they have to be the player's username not their display name their username and they have to match exactly capitalization everything it has to it has to match exactly so i'm going to put my username so in quotation marks i'm going to put spyg19 if you want to add more than one person, you would just put a comma and then just user two, comma user three, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. That's how you would add on multiple multiple users, right? So spider nineteen. Then we're gonna go down here. We're gonna create a new value. Obviously, the last time online value. So after plant inventory, you're gonna say create a variable for last time online, which is equal to instance dot new is gonna be a number value. Um, press enter. Then you'll say last time online dot name is equal to in quotation marks last time online last time online dot value by default you just set it to one then um, we can say last time online dot parent and then we want to parent this to the player right then after we're done that we want to go set up the admin command stuff so go after we've loaded the player's data so after the while not loaded data so just press enter right here right and then you'll just say player dot chatted so this is the function for whenever a player talks in game you'll just say connect function in parentheses put message press enter then we'll split up the message so we'll say message split is equal to string dot split you'll put message comma and quotation marks um you will put a space so you're going to separate it obviously by spaces and stuff because the whole point is it should be like command it should be like command the target player's username and then um if there's like an amount or something or like you need to specify something like the plant type the crop type or the or like the amount of cycles you want to give the player so then we're going to say if number message split is greater than one which means which means you know um there's obviously more that you said more than one word obviously um and string dot find and string dot find message split oh my bad uh string to find message split regular bracket one comma and quotation marks semicolon this so this is going to be your prefix so um some games have semicolon some have a colon some have a dash i'm going to use the semicolon right so this is what you put before you put the key before you type command right then press enter then of course we need to verify that um you know the player is you know an admin user so then we're gonna so then we're gonna say if they have access to the admin command so then we're gonna say if table.find admin users comma player.name simple right then press enter and then you'll say core module dot admin commands we're going to go create this function after we're done here admin commands then you send over the player comma and then the um, split string right 
then we're going to go down right here to the player removing so one thing we need to do before we save the player's data we need to also um set last time online so we're going to say player dot last time online dot value is equal to os dot time which is the current time then we're going to go down here and then we're going to add another one of these so just control c select it control c enter control v so copy and paste and then you're just simply going to change um this to player dot last time online so last time online dot value we're just simply going to save that and then you can just copy and paste this line so just copy go down here and then you're just going to go right here press enter paste it into the while not success loop um right then we're done here we can move on to the module script so let's open that up so core module at the top you want to create a variable for the remote event so we're going to say local core event is equal to game the replicated storage wait for child core event then we're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom right we're going to set up our admin commands function so before the return core module let's put space there you will say function core module dot admin commands then you will put the player and then the message split right then press enter then you will create a variable for the command so the command should be met because message split is a should be a table which means like multiple strings in one so message split so the command should be the first one in the message split that should be the first thing so we'll say if command is equal to in quotation marks semicolon seed so this is for if to give a player a seed to plant right then press enter then we'll create a variable for the target player which should be the second string in the split so we'll say message split or sorry we'll say we need to first make sure that we can find the player so game.players find first child and then you'll say message split regular bracket two right then we need whatever uh the seed name is there should be so or actually no we'll just actually we'll just um actually no we'll, we'll just get we'll just get it like this we'll just say um uh actually let me think we'll, we'll just call this potential seed actually yeah we'll just call this potential seed so we'll just say potential seed is equal to seeds folder then you'll say colon find first child message split regular bracket and then that should be the third thing right then you want to go after and say dot 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 quotation mark space seed because remember that's how we name things inside the seeds folder right so the player just has to say the admin just has to say semicolon seed player's username and then just has to put strawberry and then it'll know strawberry seed right um so then after that you want to check to make sure of course if target player so if the player is in the server and if it was able to find a potential seed then press enter and then the great thing is guys we can just do a whole bunch of copying and pasting okay so for seeds, so we we'll go over to the server script you're looking for the on server event function and the buy in the first event the, the buy stuff you're just going to go right here just copy and paste this copy paste that simple then all we got to do is just change some things around um we're just going to replace seed names with potential seed dot name so replace that potential seed dot name and then just replace plr with player or sorry not player my bad my bad not player not player do not do that target player make yeah keep in mind this is the admin who is like you know using the command this is the player like the player you want to be affected by said command so then just control c control v control v and control v so boom right we have that set up first command done now we can move on to crop right so then we can skip um i want to say we can skip i think just i think it's just yeah skip two ends press enter then you can say else if this is a very similar command so you just say else if if i can type properly else if command is equal to semicolon crop press enter then same thing you just copy and paste to save yourself some time so just go up here control c control v you can just rename this to crop and then um this remains this, this remains the exact same press enter and then you just say if target player and crop press enter and then now you just want to scroll up to up here you're looking for the code up here at the top and the collect plant function so right here copy this code then go back down and paste and then just change things around just gonna change this to crop my bad crop dot name so just replace seed with crop and then replace plr with target player right and then we have one last command control c control v so just copy and paste that then after that we're going to skip one end and then we're going to say else if command is equal to in quotation marks semicolon shekels to so the give players money press enter right same thing 
copy and paste this control c control v now this is a little different obviously first will be the target player second will be the amount of money so all you have to do is just you can just rename this to amount and then just you just have to say message split regular bracket three right and then you'll just say and then you'll just say if target player and to number if we can convert it to a number so amount if you can convert it to a number press enter then you'll just say target player dot leader stats dot shekels dot value plus equal amount boom that simple and then those are my commands let's go ahead and test to make sure everything works as always if you guys want access to any one of my scripts or models just read the description and find out how to gain access to that so girl garden or any other um, videos or series you're interested in to gain access to those models or files okay so first things first we need to test offline growth so here's what we'll do so press play oh my bad clearly i made a mistake okay let's so make sure you put value instead of value so this um this was oh yeah the first thing the load player data function on the server script okay there we go as you can see it displays our money and it's formatted now so it shows 11 million a lot, a lot easier to read than just a long you know um eight digit number so right as you guys can see if i go to players and stuff it'll track the last time i was online it tracks that right so if i let's actually test it right now i'm going to say um seed carrot or sorry seed spy j19 carrot I remember it has to be exact boom there we go and it gives myself the carrot now remember it has to like it has to be exact like you, like you can't type it with you cannot type it with a lowercase c it has to be capital right then i can plant the seed and as you can see it's growing right i can also give myself so i can say like crop spy j19 strawberry uh strawberry um oh i forgot the capital prop spider 19 strawberry boom and now i have the crop strawberry and then i can actually you know i can go appraise it see its value how much it is worth 200 dollars. yep right as you can see the crops finished growing i collect it now so that's that um i can give myself money so i can say shekels shekels by j19 and then we'll just give myself like 200 shekels uh i spelled something wrong i put shekels instead of shekels i i don't know how i did that by mistake to be completely honest shekels my bad guys my bad that's on the module script um and the admin commands function all the way at the end for the shekels command okay let's try this again shekels spy j19 200 there we go. As you can see, I gave myself 200 shekels. It updated. Okay. So now let's test this, right? I'm going to go buy a seed, right? I'm going to plant the carrot seed. As you can see, it's 10% growth, 10% growing right now. A few seconds will have elapsed. It was at 10%. Now, if I go back, right, it's at, I think that's 60. Yes. It's, yeah. It's at 70% now. So yeah. Then if I stop testing, keep in mind, it was just at 80% growth, right? It was just at 80% growth. More than four seconds have elapsed by this point. So now it'll be at 100 and ready to be picked. Yep, there we go. So, yep. So, so there's offline growth and um, admin commands as well as uh, shekel amount is displayed and formatted as well. So, yeah, if you guys enjoyed part nine of the Grow Garden series, then definitely um, let me know in the comments. Definitely like, subscribe. If you find any bugs, as always, let me know. Stuff keep showing us your love and support, and I will continue with more videos and stuff. Thank you guys for watching the video. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.